What's up guys, how you all doing? Cosmic Carry here, bringing you another World of Tanks video and welcome, welcome, welcome one and all Look, can you hear the squishy? They put this in the last update when you squish a pumpkin you can ha you actually hear a squelch What an interesting fact there, Cosmic Expanded the knowledge of World of Tanks players throughout the world Yes indeed, the is squeezy And welcome to my final my final, my final episode of me in my SU 101. All good things, all traumatic things must come to an end. <laughs> all traumatic things must come to an end. And uh, my my time has uh, finally come to an end in the SU 101. Stubborn son of a so-and-so that I am. I said to myself, no, nope, I'm not going to use any free XP. It's very weird, free XP. Because, uh, you know, people get um, crap for using it. But at the same time, you know, I'll just, and, I, and I have free XP. I could, you know, bypass this tank, you know, half half of this grinding. But, um, but I said to myself, when it came to my free XP, I said, there is no way... Then I'm gonna spend my free because free XP equals cash, cash out of my pocket. Cash out of my pocket equals hard work at my job. So there is no way, you know, that I'm gonna be working at my job for this poncy little shih tzu of a tank. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna if I spend any free whatever free XP I spend on this thing. It's you know, there's a time equivalent. Of uh, at my job, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, and I said to myself, there is no way, there is no way, and 100% uh, grinding this tank from start to finish. Granted, I'd used free XP to unlock my desired gun, which wasn't that big a deal, and yeah, and uh, keep in mind, this is uh, the uh, not only that, this isn't a fantastic game. This is a me arguing with my whole frigging team you can see what's happening on up on the screen and I'm telling everybody you know you can see the map if you hit select everybody can see the map and right now it is 50 50 it is simply a race to the bases to the cap circles and I'm telling everybody move the F forward move forward push forward do effing something because right now, that's all that it is. It's not a question of blowing up tanks or any of that good stuff. It's just a race to the cap circles and nothing more. You can see where the bad guys are. You can see where my guys are. And, and that's all that it is. And a couple of them signaled uh, negative. Negative. We're not pushing forward. Defend this position. Defend what position exactly. Defend what position. Defend that pointless, useless corner of the map. That is all the way on the other side from our, uh, you know, our home base, our cap circle. And what am I uh, forced to do? What am I forced to do? I'm, I'm kind of forced to show my hand, my hidden hand, my, uh, you know, my, I'm forced to, you know, I, I have to stem the flow, so to speak. And as, even with my quick firing gun, there is no way I can uh, even inflict 50% of the damage needed uh, to stem the flow of the bad guys coming towards our base so it's simply a case of it's like a bluff so to speak they see me uh, hopefully they recognize you know my quick firing gun oh he, he can dish out quite a buttload of damage possibly maybe he's got some compadres with him so i'm just kind of stemming the flow kind of slowing their advance their progress down so hopefully my guys will get on their base and because uh, it's literally just like I said it's it's just <laughs> a race to the base is nothing more nothing less and whatever happens in in between is you know what it, it's just gonna happen I can, I can pen that wow I can pen that but look look how many bad guys one two three four five six I'm gonna be uh, I have to be here for the next five minutes uh, hidden in a bush even if I was a hidden in a bush and they weren't uh, They could not find me Nah, it's just it's just not gonna happen and I'm just slowing their progress down as much as possible so we can possibly maybe get a win through capping 
their base or at least a draw but hopefully hopefully not a loss hopefully not a loss and uh, and there you go you know and I'm signaling you know to take it take it take that base take that base there's there's enough of you there's enough of you just take that friggin base please uh, cycle through my compadres where are they here we go we're on the base I look at the timer and it's close if, if anybody it's got it's going to be a draw I said to myself it's going to be a draw okay I can live with that absolutely I can live with that and uh, but not a defeat please not a defeat I know in the initial stages it kind of looked like I was just sitting there being an armchair general but I truly I knew what I was doing you know if you looked at if you go back to the beginning of the game uh, my view range I was positioned to where exactly where my view range would be most effective and I would be hidden and uh, all of that good stuff. I wasn't simply sitting there armchair general style telling people move forward and all of that good stuff. A draw. I'm happy with that. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. A draw. <laughs> and moving onwards we are on Richire tier 8. Tier 8 and um, uh, for those of you that uh, know your world of tanks would you notice the OP platoon that it's uh, with me you'll notice the gentleman in the OP platoon they're kind of considered some of the best uh, world of tanks players out there and uh, I, I, I get into games with them here and there and uh, uh, they're decent dudes some of them are total douchebags and you know and all of that good stuff how can you fail in the OP platoon I, I, whenever they come up, I'm like, oh, it's the Spongebob platoon. <laughs> they're, they're, it's the Spongebob platoon. I don't know what to call them. You know, World of Tanks platoon. I'm like, oh, it's the Spongebob platoon. So, for those of you that know your World of Tanks, you'll recognize the names and all that good stuff. But anyhow, how can you fail being in an OP platoon? <laughs> how can you fail? How do you know if you're good or bad? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're in an OP platoon. Uh... <laughs> But anyhow, this is quite possibly the most stupidest game I've ever been in. Quite possibly the most dopiest, stupidest game I've ever been in. And even though these gentlemen are in a, you know, they're OP platoon. Uh, so what's happening in the game? Everybody's funneling down one side. So there you go. <laughs> even the best players in the world <laughs> funnel, funnel down one side. So whatever and uh, and I'm seeing left 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 flank hello hello anybody 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 no nobody and I'm and I'm you know I, I'm in a perfect little position there I'm using my um, tank to the best of its abilities I'm hidden and I'm gonna lay down supporting fire as they you know push through the right hand flank but I'm truthfully I'm not needed I'm not needed because they've pushed through and not only that, you know, this left hand side, somebody needs to take care of business, keep an eye out what's going on on the left hand side, you know, what is going on. And in the initial stages I was saying to myself, okay, you know, find the bush, set up shop, kick in your camo net, and just unload, unload. And, but, you know, there is a lot of cover on the left hand side here, you know, for them to kind of sneak through. So. There is that to consider, absolutely. So, mm. so initially, I, I kind of knocked down this tree, and I said, "No, nah, it's not going to work." But this is, you know, I like this. Yeah, it's kind of little. What the f ever, you know? I haven't got a clue what's going on there. A, a lover's, a lover's quarrel, possibly, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyhow, anyhow, so. It's uh, Chaffee. He's, he needs to be taken out. Chaffee is a important, uh, you know, piece in the game of chess. That is World of Tanks. You know, he's a very strong pawn, so to speak. But and he, he, I take him out, 100%. He's right there in the middle. He's lighting up my compadres. And I thought, Dude, what the hell is going on here? Seriously, look, I can't believe I nudged him so hard. <laughs> like, get your butt into gear, sir. <laughs> so, 
what to do, what to do. I, I, I didn't want to push to the left all by myself. And I thought, okay, come up here, top of the hill, and just do something, do anything. You know, hide in the bush and just unload, unload. You know, there's a danger they're going to push through on the left. And you can see, you can see that <laughs> right behind me. Look, look, he's just zooming through like crazy. But I thought, okay, let's help out here because they, they it looks like they're tangling with my compadres and they need some help. Hopefully, you know. Okay, okay, okay. All right, now we can. Mm -hmm. And he's on, you know, pretty much. What is that? 90, 95 percent full health. I mean. So it, that's a, a dangerous dude, so to speak. Absolutely, 100%. What to do? What can we do? And they're getting shots into my rear. We start the cap. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's something. And this medium seems to be having the time of his life. Like uh, Patrick Spacey in Dirty Dancing. He's just, you know... <laughs> And Mr. Tiger, zoom in, and, uh, and I know where he is, he's in the river, you know. They're pretty, pretty smart, absolutely. Managed to pen there, 100%, still not lit up. So I'm doing what I was originally planning I was going to do, so. Yeah, get a nice kill, so second kill, second kill. Haven't inflicted that much damage so far, Tiger. Is the Tiger eyeballing me? Is he eyeballing me? That's, that is the question. Absolutely, and uh, you know, I, I, I said to myself, you're not going to get that, look at that angle, absolutely 100%, no way, shape or form, I'm going to get that, so lost 50% lost of my hit points, pulled back considerably, and you can see that shot that came in from my left, and I and I said, that medium, that, oh, I'm going to deal with you buddy, <laughs> right now I'm going to deal with you, don't, don't manage to make that turn over the bridge successfully. But it's all good, you know. I know he's over here somewhere, and I'm, I'm signaling to everyone. He's back here. He's back here. Come on, boys. Let's uh, let's go get him. And there he is. There he is. Absolutely. I'm lit up. Is he facing me? And we are good. We are good. We got this in the bag. Managed to get the kill. And good to go. Three kills. I mean. <laughs> Silly, stupid game. Tell you the truth, and hardly any damage. But you know, I did what I could. I did what I was supposed to do, and yeah, absolutely. <laughs> good to go. Good to go. Good to go. And we are now on um, counter battle on six feet line. Let's speed things up here a little bit. Final, final battle. I'm going to be showcasing in my SU 101. I can't remember the last time I was so relieved to get rid of a tank and and I didn't mind it I didn't mind it I, it's just I don't know I think it's just a little bit too much to hold TDs for me to grind and you know it's just I don't know all that camping it's just I cannot wait for the Japanese uh, mediums to come out and uh, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised playing the mediums uh, you know it's a lot of people going to be playing the japanese tanks due to the fact that they are new tanks but what they fail to remember is that they are mediums and if you have never played mediums if you're not familiar with mediums then you're going to be like a fish out of water and even more so with um, these tanks because the, the, the japanese mediums they they have no armor whatsoever and not only you know i was i've been doing my research and all of that and not just no armor but massive tanks as well they have their advantages don't get me wrong and i can't wait to play in them but uh, yeah if you're not if you're excited about a new tank a line coming out good for you but ask yourself have you played in mediums before you know is, is that your specialty yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I'm I'm expecting it to be tough, and I, I've dealt with my fair share of mediums, absolutely. And in no way, shape, or form do I consider myself to be a you know an expert medium player. But I'm gonna do my very very best. Absolutely. So 
so like i said so stoked so very happy that you know this is the final time i'm going to be commentating over this campy 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 ass <laughs> gameplay that is uh, you know the norm in the su 101 what can i say i mean what can i say about this beautiful thing but scooting up here let's uh, let's let's go out with the bag absolutely scooting up here and the, 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 yeah, again this is me understanding my tank I pen he turns around and I'm saying to myself he's gonna bounce his gun depression is mocked up possibly maybe and um, but not nah, not nah, he manages he manages track him track him if it's all possible my reload speed is quicker than your reload speed and <laughs> all the, all of that good stuff nah, absolutely one more, one more, one more. Try and make him bounce. But yeah, there we go. Either that was a bounce or he, or he, you know, completely missed. Either or, you know, I'm good to go. So, uh, not, not bad, not bad, not bad. But I have lost, what is it, like, um, one quarter of my hit points. So, there's that to consider. And I'm lit up then. This is, this was very strange to me because I couldn't figure out why I was, uh, I was being lit up. So very much, you know, oh, pardon me there. So very much, you know, I just couldn't lose my detection, couldn't lose my sixth sense for the life of me. And uh, I was wondering, was it the guys up ahead of me? I wasn't sure. I mean, I'm being masked by the wreckage of this tank here in front of me. And uh, very apprehensive, very scared of, you know, coming up here. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, okay, they seem to have forgotten about me. And so take advantage of that and just unload a few quick shells. Six cents and detected. The whole time I was wondering, is there somebody in the bushes to my left? And I'm just not aware of them or something something like that. I don't know. Because look, look, I just cannot for the life of me lose it. That detection and that six cents. And uh, squirming, 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 squirming. You know, where is that coming from? Must be something, you know, from my left. Because there's no way, you know, the guys ahead of me, the guys to my right are lighting me up. And I don't, finally managed to lose it. Finally managed to lose it. And I say, I'm feeling really unsafe here. Really, really vulnerable. Especially, you know, with the tank that I'm in and the number of hit points that, you know, I, I have. And lo and behold, there's a piece of Artie to my left. Now, was that him? I don't think so. I don't think so. So not sure i cannot explain that one and uh not sure not sure not sure so i tried to play that little sequence there smart but for the life of me i just couldn't figure it out why was i being lit up so often so much and that nah. so as you can see you know i'm very apprehensive about returning there so i decide to simply flank 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 or flank all the way around as far as I can go and uh, to the rear uh, just as, uh, and again six cents six cents uh, now is that that medium up ahead one two three see so yeah, I'm counting the tanks some of these uh, uh, yeah and now I'm I'm confident I'm confident I say to myself okay three red dots up above three red dots on the map you, you're good you should be good they, uh, look at the gun depression just fail me fail me fail me I tried to get into position and I know what that tank is you know it's a quick firing auto loader so I think so it's a T69 pretty sure it is and um, moving in moving in for the kill mopping up stage what I hope is mopping up stage there's only two left so moving in he gets taken out okay here we go Tiger 2 I mean he can he could take me out if he wanted to, but yeah, he's distracted. Last man standing, all that good stuff. He moves his turret. He moves his turret. He faces me. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Ganarvan. Thank you. That was close. Nice, nice, nice. And there we go. The final. The final. <laughs> done. We're done. SU 101. Done. In the can done dusted I'll never have to deal with this tank ever again 
I didn't mind the tank one single bit. Loved that bouncing action. Loved hiding in the bushes somewhat, sometimes. But uh, the actual gameplay, the grind, if this was tier 6 or 7 and it didn't last as long as it did, I did my best with this tank, absolutely 100%. I put it, I pushed it to the max, so to speak. You can see me here, I'm just bouncing, 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 bouncing. F U all, and it's like nobody's gonna pen me. You can see where I am, very strong position. And uh, but it's because it's tier eight. It was such a long grind. It was such a long grind, and I made it worse because I didn't want to start it initially. But we're done. We're out of here. We're not necessarily moving on to the next tank because we're gonna have Japanese tanks soon. So I'm gonna be. I'm going to be finishing up my grind on the T32, the American Tier 8 American Heavy. And uh, I, I, that, personally, I'm looking forward to. You know, I can do a grind and a half on, on that thing. But anyhow, take it easy, guys. The pain is over with. SU 101 is out of here. Adios, muchachos.